Welcome, welcome, everybody. It's 93.1 WZAK. I'm Kenya Brown, and today we will talk to a very, very special artist whose name just brings joy in itself, Miss Avery Sunshine. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. How are you, my gorgeous sister? Oh, thank you, beautiful. You are so beautiful and you are just living up to your name. <laughs> I just love me some sunshine, honey. Oh, I, love, I had to get my hair dyed last night so I could, you know, keep my sunshine going. Yes, girl. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and you're coming to Cleveland. I'm yes. so excited. April, I can't wait. Yes, April 12th, she's going to be at the Music Box, but we're going to talk a little bit. We're going to have, have a little conversation with Miss yeah. Sunshine. Now, you know, I was doing my Googles. I was doing my Googling, honey, Google. and the, I was looking at the origin of your name. Now, tell me if it's true or if it's not true now, because these are two of my favorite, favorite characters of it's all true. times. It's true. If it's true, please tell me. Where you get it's your name true. from, girl? So it was a last minute uh, call. My husband said to me, um, I need you to hurry. And can you still hear me? Yes. Oh, good, good. So my husband said, listen, I need you to hurry and tell me what you, what we, uh, what you want your name to be on the liner notes for, for this album. I was like, I, <laughs> Avery Sunshine, because I was doing something else. Hurry up, just, just tell them every sunshine. Right. So I, I have no idea where that came from. I believe it came from my love of two amazing characters. Uh, Sugar Avery from The Color Purple. Yes. And Sunshine from Harlem Nights. Well, you know, you throw it up there as you turn it. Listen, <laughs> I love it. That is, I, that I, is I mean, like iconic. That's so iconic. I love it. I absolutely love it. And Terrible your music. Story, but I, I mean, uh, <laughs> See, your husband was probably like, uh huh, that sunshine part. Yeah, I got you. I got oh, you, girl. I'm I'm blind. I'll see what you're doing. I'll see what you're doing. <laughs> now, your music is such a vibe. It's it's just a collection of just so many styles. We hear some R&B, we hear some jazz. We hear, to me, I, I call it that feel something music because, you know, you you feel something. It puts you in a mood. Yeah. What do you want people to feel when they hear your music? I want them to feel my soul, feel my experiences because I'm just like everybody else. And I think in my music, that is the thing that is, um, well, that's what's important to me, that people know that I'm just like everybody else. And um, so I try to make sure I, I, I am true to that. I'm true to what I'm feeling. And uh, if I want to talk about God, I do that. If I want to talk about my boo, I do that. If I want to talk about my ex, yes. oh, I do that. If I want to talk about my children or, you know, not having enough money to get me from point A to point B. And that, you, you know what I mean? Yes. It's stuff that we identify with That's and right. and i i you know i i've gone back and forth about i said you know my writing isn't colorful enough and all but then yes. i always meet somebody who says you know what that line you said about um yes. let me tell you something three dollars for three weeks i had to i was like you know what i'm gonna be exactly who i am i'm gonna write exactly how i write and and the thing that we all know, pray that the thing that comes from the heart goes right to the heart, you know? Yes. So. And so you have that, that church background too. Was it, was it difficult for you to go over into sec more secular music or was, was it just like, I'm, I'm just not going to be defined by anything. That's exactly right. It, it, the truth is, it's all the same thing. It all comes from this. First of all, God is the source, but I, it, in addition to that, all music was created. We, we did that, black folks, you know what I mean? Yes. So it's all the same thing. The thing that was really good for me with, uh, if we talk about the bridge with gospel music and uh, uh, R&B or sacred and secular, the same folks on Sunday morning, listen, are the same folks Saturday night hanging out with yeah. me with a little drink. Or two or five. You better tell it. And you better tell it. The moment that we're comfortable 
existing in that way. I, you, I, well, the moment I became comfortable with it, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be at the club with some Listen. tequila talking about how good God is, huh? Yes, yes. yes. So what we do is what we are. are. We don't have don't to have separate. To separate. I don't, yes. I'm not going to continue to separate. Is if God is with me all the time, you know, God's with me when I, you know, when I got it. Now, as women, it it takes a little while for us to find our voice sometimes, you know, to decipher what is truly authentically us, our voice, you know, as opposed to our parents' voice or, you know, uh, the people that you grow up with, your friends, yeah. anything. How long did it take for you to find your voice? And also, uh, what do you wish you would have known a lot sooner? Wow. I'm just finding my voice. I think something happened at 45, 46 for me yes. when you're like, mm -mm. yes, I don't care what you think. Yes. It uh, happens, I wish it? that it, that that moment had happened sooner. I, I, listen, I was, I'm from the East Coast, uh, right outside of Philly. Yeah. And I got parents, oh, I had parents who were, God rest my father's soul, both of them were type A personalities. Mm. Whatever they were thinking, Yes. You knew it. <laughs> so <laughs> there was not a lot of space for my voice. Uh, however, they, they were encouraging the best parents in the world to me, but yes. they were loud. And what it, again, their opinions were very strong. Yes. Um, I wish that I, I wish that I had spoken a little louder, mm. you know, then. Yes. Uh, I don't regret anything, but I, I, I just, I do wonder had I, uh, you know, what would my story be like had I spoken a little louder? And I, I do think that a part of me um, uh, going to attending Spelman College, you know, a women's college in Atlanta, uh, yeah. the best HBCU, I just got to make sure I say that. <laughs> Shout out to Spelman. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was empowering to be around Black women who were not afraid to use their voices. Mm. And it still took me a minute to get yes. comfortable with mine. Mm. And I think what's the, the dope thing about looking for your voice is at the, the place wherever you are in your life, yes. your voice is important. Yes. Whether you have all the answers or not. Yes. I wish that I knew that. Just be loud anyway. Yes. <laughs> Talk be anyway. loud Just anyway. Figure things out. I, I wish I knew that then, but it's all right. I don't mind how you finding it now. Yes. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to wait till you 45 or whatever, but that is that's that is about when it naturally comes. You you start saying, okay, wait a minute. These people, they they're just humans. They're yes. humans just like me. Um, this person that's telling me what to do over here, they don't got their stuff together either. So I'm gonna do this my way. And what they think really does not matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Yes. So ladies, yes, get out there, speak loud, speak your yeah. own truth. Now, listen, what was your favorite? Every singer has their favorite singer that they started off singing that, that you know, when somebody said, uh, Avery, go ahead and hit that, uh, hit a song for me. What was your, what was your person? I promise I didn't have anybody. What? I, mean, this is, I was a fan of, I was a fan of, from Michael to Twinkie Clark to, you know, Anita Baker to Whitney to Phyllis Hyman to Ooh. Frankie Beverly to Patti LaBelle. I, I, I was all over the place. So I yes. never really sang. I, I did not sing for real until I got to, until I got to college. I was pretty wow. bad. Did I wow. really start to be like real? Wow, that is amazing. I, mean, I, I thought I was a loud voice, not special enough to do this thing. Let me listen to these other people. So, you know, I kind of played around with it. I didn't, it, 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 I'll just tell everybody else to do. I'll sit at the piano, you sing this, you sing that, you do this. But I never, you know, so I never, I never did it. But if I had to say today, Shirley Jordan. Do you know who Shirley Moore is? No, I'm not. Amazing piano and singer. You've got to Google. Y'all go ahead and Google Shirley Moore. God rest her soul. There's a voice that makes you 
feel warm inside. And my, if I could think, oh, Shirley, you're going to call me and say, hey, we going to say it. I'm going to Google it. I'm going <laughs> to Google it, girl. So listen, you've done so many big things. You've been doing movie soundtracks. You've done your own music and all yeah. of that. Which one is more satisfying to know that in this movie, it's going to be playing for an indefinite amount of time? Or do you prefer like that live audience feel? Do you like that immediate live. feedback? Live. Now, I'm grateful. Yes. For the, the few movies, the I've been, my music, <laughs> all, or the, in the TV that we've got, I'm grateful. Yes. But live, there's nothing like feeling that energy bouncing back and forth from the stage, the audience, nothing like it. My best shows are when the audience is talking to me and giving me energy. And I just feed off of that. And I just, I we, we just had a show. I, I, I was trying to recreate it. Telling my husband, do you remember what I said? He this, this, this. was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember that. <laughs> but it was so magical and electric. But it was because of the audience. Yes. So absolutely. Why? No, I was I was suffering when we were going through the pandemic because there was no live music. So I'm so excited to see you guys back on stage. This we is awesome. Are. We all are glad to be back working. Yes. Certainly. Yes. We're glad to see y'all too. Yes, honey. One of the first shows I have to tell you I got back to see when I went, we got out. Uh, I went to see Frankie Beverly in May. Yes. And when I tell you, I was so happy to be outside and yes. singing them songs with Frankie Beverly. They had to go to the hospital. I messed up my leg. I was jumping. I, uh, it's, it's for real. I was in the front of the foot of the stage. We opened. Uh, and then I said, I can't leave. I got to see um, Frankie Beverly. I went and stood at the front of the stage, jumped up and down, and take me to the urgent care. I was on campus. Frankie oh. Beverly sent me to urgent care. The show was so urgent. I hurt myself. Listen, that that has to be like a big compliment for somebody to hurt themselves because they were so excited to see Happy you. Feeling, Listen, what? so amazing. Purpose. And we get a chance to get that amazing feeling because you're yes. going to be right here in Cleveland on April 13th. I think it was it the 12th. I Is thought it, 12th? it was the 12th. Let me check right now so I say it right. I'm gonna look right now. Let me check, it. honey. I think it's right the now. I think they right April 12th, April 12th at the music box supper yes. club. Yes, you don't get the chance. Hurt themselves. No, please don't hurt yourself. No, just come have a great adult beverage and sit or back two. and get all those vibes. Absolutely. Yes, Miss Avery Sunshine. I'm so excited that you will be right here in Cleveland. Can't wait to see you. I need to catch all those vibes. Please, I can't wait to catch them with y'all. We're so excited. Yes, you have to see this woman. She is amazing. And we all going to come out, support April 12th, Music April. Box Supper Club. It's going down. Miss Avery Sunshine. Thank you, my dear sister Kenya. I can't wait to see you all. Oh, and I have to shout out one of my good friends, Frank McComb from Cleveland, Ohio. What's up, Frank? I know you. That, that was a good. That was a good shout out. What's up, Frank McComb? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all tag him in this video and Please tell him Miss Avery Sunshine. That's my say hello. That's Anything with sunshine, if somebody says hello, you gonna be like, hey. hey. That's just <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much, Miss Avery. Sunshine. Till next time. I'm Kenya Brown. It's 93.1 WZAK.